been in one of the schools we stopped at just one week earlier in Saratoga County. Fortunately, Charlotte was recovered 48 hours later after what must certainly have been a very terrifying, terrifying ordeal. I feel it is important to include recovery cases because what else could inspire hope to a greater degree than a successful recovery, safe recovery? I'm honored to welcome Charlotte's mother, Tricia, and her aunt, Janae, to the ride to speak to you today. My name is Janae Senna, and um, as Fred mentioned, our niece Charlotte, my niece, was abducted and missing for two days last October. The worst two days imaginable for her parents and our entire family. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and I'm sure all of the families here are thinking, well, how much stronger could I possibly be? <laughs> um, I read that steel is much like the human spirit. When forged in fire, steel can withstand immense pressure and heat, much like how the human spirit has the remarkable ability to turn adversity and pain into strength and resilience. And that is evident in all of you. Being here today as an advocate among advocates, and now friends like Mary Lyle, the Albers, the Freers, Monica, our family is incredibly grateful for the opportunity to be a part of your ride family. Speaking of strength, my sister-in-law, Trisha Senna, I admire her strength daily and that of my brother-in-law, Dave, as they return to some semblance of normalcy after what happened. Trisha has been so brave these past few months. Speaking out, going on national TV, and advocating for her daughter and all the missing persons and exploited children. So I'm honored to introduce you to Trisha. So this is my first ride, um, as Fred had mentioned. Um, but I will say coming here today, I'm not nearly as nervous if anything I feel. I feel thankful to be here with all of you today and to have Charlotte recognized. Um, so thank you for having me. Um, as Fred had mentioned, my daughter was abducted from a upstate New York park, a park I've been to many, many times. Um, she was gone for 47 hours. And today I don't wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about Charlotte. It is very important to me and to my family that this horrific experience does not define who Charlotte is. She is so much more than the headline and the news articles. She is incredibly brave and she is very kind and loving and so, so very smart. She, she loves Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> her and her father share a love of Pokemon. They bond over it. It's 
really quite heartwarming. Mm. Uh, she loves books. And right now she reads the Bible before she goes to bed. She loves cats. All things cats. <laughs> she is. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. She is so much more than what happened to her. This experience has given her a sense of bravery. And she's done so many things that she never would have done prior to this experience. She has joined many clubs and she has participated in several plays. And not just in the background, my non-dancing, hates dancing child is up in the front, dancing her little heart out and smiling. She has taken this experience and it, she has not let it ruin her. Yeah. such a defeatist it's so defeating and it's so final and so negative charlotte's a survivor mm -hmm. she works every day to be a survivor really really hard she has bad days and she has good days but she doesn't let the bad days change who she is every day she works to survive so thank you for having me here mm -hmm.